why we chose this logo or this motto for our um, initiative. Uh, let me tell you a story. Uh, Dr. Fahd Asfar was uh, well, I'm following on Twitter, and then I found out that he had this article. Oh, uh, he said every student has to read this article in New England General Medicine. So I went down Hagel and I started reading this article. And what the article said that that we have a problem. We're facing a problem. That is, when we apply for specialties abroad, the seats are less. The opportunity is much harder. It's getting really tough for students like us to get in. I mean, we all know this because you know, it's a natural change. All of us, people, are, I mean, population is growing, seats are less, and it's, it's no normal, right? That's not the issue. The issue is Barla. Outside, they know that this is the issue, and they're preparing for it. We know we're not preparing for it. Barla, they know that they have to do research. And we don't know that we have to do research. Barla, they know that they have to do electives, etc. They have to plan ahead, plan the Bidaya, and we do not know. I mean, you know the saying, if you plan to fail, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So now we don't want you to fail to plan. So we chose this initiative. Everyone is wondering, group. Hey, come on, boxing? <laughs> so we did not think an, uh, a book would be something a for talk or a picture of someone studying or a picture of doing, someone doing the research. Or even the movie, we didn't think an, uh, a figure an, uh, would grab you, you guys. So we put something really barra, and then we brought you in. So the idea is giving you a chance, the opportunity to fight your way in into the specialty that you want. So this is the Fighting Chance Initiative brought to you by Kamsa. This so this initiative starts with the teams for one reason, that in the beginning you have to start somewhere, you have to know where are you planning to go, to go, but what is, what is your goal? So we start from the teams and there is more coming. Alright. Uh, I'm a seventh year medical student, a member of uh, the development and curriculum committee, and uh, the coordinator of the teams. Okay, so the teams. This is just the beginning. More projects are on the way under the umbrella of the Pine Chess, and I want you all to make the most out of it. Okay? Uh, Okay, so the objectives and the goals. The idea behind the teams is that uh, we want the students uh, to start with choosing their area of choice. Uh, we want them to get oriented in that specialty and uh, we want them to develop interest early in their medical education life. You know, medicine is a lifelong journey. Uh, what is the life of doctor uh, like? How is it to be a surgeon? Did you enjoyed your surgery rotation, but is it to the extent of becoming a surgeon? What is it like being a pediatrician, for example? And this applies for psychiatrists, for uh, obstetricians, for gynecologists. So we want you to start asking yourself these questions now, not after graduation. Okay? Uh, so the thing is that we're going to start signing up for the teams. We're starting with five major teams involving five major specialties. Uh, medicine, surgery, pediatrics, OBGYN, and uh, psychiatry. Uh, the signing up will start next, uh, next week, starting from Sunday to Wednesday till 4 p.m. Uh, after 4 p.m., there's no signing up. And the acceptance policy, so far, it's open to all the students. We want you to find the specialty you want, okay? So it's going to be open. Uh, the structure of the team. Minimum 10 members in each team. Maximum, it depends. We'll see um, if there are many students who like one team or concentrated in one team or another. But maximum, I'm expecting 40 to 50. Okay? But it can go up. Who knows? Uh, after the team members gather together, they can have elections for the leader. They have to choose a leader. Uh, team members also should uh, choose a mentor which uh, supervise uh, the team. Uh, this center can be uh, a resident, a consultant, a faculty member. So the team will choose the doctor who will uh, 
or who uh, they want to work with. Okay? What does a leader do? What is it like the leader or the head of uh, medicine student team, for example? Uh, the leader will plan his or her team activities. He will coordinate team activities. He will convey everything to the team coordinator. Right? Uh, any updates, any requirements, any inquiries. And all the head of teams will have the regular uh, follow-up meetings with each of Okay? Uh, so this is actually what uh, a leader does. What kind of activities do you expect each team would have? Variety of activities. Anything your mind can come up with. Uh, like for example, luncheons, some specialty orientations, rotations, hospital uh, visits, uh, perhaps surgical or medical skills, lab, anything uh, related to a specific uh, specialty. So it's anything your mind can come up with. However, all events must comply with the uh, Kuwait University rules and regulations. Okay? Uh, there's something I'd like to introduce, which is uh, the point system. Uh, we'd like things to be fun. We want you to get motivated. So we have this uh, point system. The team will compete throughout the year. Each activity will have certain points. So if they have this activity, they will gain that number of points. Uh, and uh, the team with most points by the end of the year will receive the best team of uh, 2011, uh, 2012 award, golden winner. This is the first team. And then the second place will, will have silver, the third will have bronze, and the uh, The evaluation grade will be done by Kumsari CC, who have a special form for evaluation. Um, points, as I said, uh, each activity will have specific points. Uh, activities can range from academic events, social events, and other kinds of events will be evaluated and scored according to the uh, PCC committee. Okay? Uh, I'd like to discuss some general rules and regulations. Uh, rules are subject to change by Kumsa DCC uh, at any point in time when we see aided by the committee. Uh, membership is one year. Okay? Uh, participation is in only one team, uh, so you cannot join two teams simultaneously. If you want one specialty, you join one team. Uh, if there is one month without activities, we have the right to interfere, we have the right to susp uh, for suspension, uh, and we elect for everything. So this ha has to get to the active. Each one, at least, there has to be one activity. Minimum requirements for each team. Uh, as I said, it has to be one activity per month, and uh, we have to have clear explanation and orientation, workshops or sessions. Uh, what kind of awards we are uh, giving? Uh, team mentors awarded for leading the winning team, uh, the same as the team. So if the team got first place, the mentor will have gold, the same as the team. Uh, best doctors from the specialty award. So, uh, the team will choose or uh, uh, the doctor that has the most influential uh, effect. And uh, five best team members awarded for each team. Each team will have five, uh, five uh, best uh, members, and for the winning team, we're going to have ten, ten members. Okay? So these are the kind of awards. Um, how will participating in the student team benefit as a student or a mentor? Uh, there will be certificates for all the participants. This is a good thing to have in your CV. Uh, there will be certificates also for the for the mentor. Uh, and uh, as a student, you get to interact with uh, different consultants, with even senior students. Uh, and for the mentor also, it's, it's a good thing to be student. My suggestion to you uh, is to take the advantage. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to coordinate, to uh, build up this experience, to be like a model for future collaboration with programs outside Kuwait. I have connections in Canada and the States, so you know, so many program directors. And I think if we could, this could be an example that you can franchise actually in medical schools, so and it could be your credit, so keep uh, listening. It's preparing students for a model and also uh, 
letting them know that this is something, uh, you know, a credible thing that the Iranian students who finishes this uh, chance will have the best chance to be able to present in the program. So I think coordinate, coordination of universities will be the fruit of your uh, experience. The second thing I think if you just allow the whoever is not involved uh, uh, to be attracted, uh, like don't like close it on your team. They give a chance whoever. Like my suggestion to have like maybe once every two months uh, uh, public activity for all students to give them feedback of what's happening and also give a chance for comments so if there's any improvements it can be done early on. Uh, thank you very much, Bashir, for inviting me and the team. You have done a wonderful job. And I think this is a brilliant idea. I think it should have been thought about even earlier. I think this, all of the students must, I think all of those who want to specialize in each field, I think they should take advantage of this grand opportunity. It is a brilliant idea, actually. I think you need to be facilitated. And the, the way you want to think of going about it is even more brilliant. I think it is. A, a continuous monitoring, continuous evaluation is very good. And I have some suggestions to make. I think uh, you uh, you can have chat sessions with uh, consultants in each specialty, for example, Emma. for example, a specialty in maternal fetal or in uh, or in gynae uh, onc or in, or in reproductive endocrinology, things like that. You can have chat sessions, chat sessions, I'm talking. And also for those, I think you made a brilliant. Uh, Film presentation. You have an, another another career, uh, I think, <laughs> and whoever made it, I think, brilliant. You could be very good uh, filmmakers. I think. Uh, <laughs> yes, excellent. But I think you could have chat sessions with people who have gone abroad and come back. For example, for the uh, consultant you have in psychiatry, consultant in medicine, have a chat session with them and and chat with them. What was their experience like? What how? What were the challenges which they face? You know, for that, this will be a keep down to box. Well, it's a bit hard to, to do the boxing, but uh, and I think this is an excellent idea and wish you all the best. Wish you all the best. Any, any other questions? Any more? Tell her, this is new. If you have no questions, we did a good job, or you either don't get anything. Yeah. <laughs> First, it's very nice to see the number of students you have attracted. I don't think we never we ever attracted such a number for a lecture. So it's very nice. It's really a change. So I I hope if you, this way, uh, if you are all attracted, we, we this is a very good start. Uh, I want to ask Bashir, the teams they come by the speciality they want to do in the future, or how do you divide the two? What makes the team? What is the uh, how do you group the team around what? Uh, what is the when you group teams? The team is what according to the future speciality, their interest. Yes, their interest. Very good. So which year then you will attract? Because yes, we will for all years. From the training, some years it will be too early. Like how could Second year I think that um, for the second year students interact, even with the second year students, they will interact. Okay, they will so they will they will interact. I mean, they are allowed to change between and teams. I wish they could have started when I was a second year student. So but will you know what what yeah. the you know see, from I year two? I can explore the specialty see if I can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's Sorry. a passion. It was passion, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a passion you can create. I think Dr. Magda comment actually as we said, she told me brings a very important issue. And uh, for instance, our uh, our colleagues in basic science uh, are always uh, a bit reserved, saying you are only graduating uh, physicians, surgeons, clinicians, but none uh, scientists. You still need scientists in medicine. And they are always concerned that uh, this way might you might exclude completely uh, science, you know. So again, maybe you should have one or two uh, members, faculty members, uh, as scientists to be involved. Because some of you might be more inclined towards uh, uh, the lab work or towards the pure science, which is again is great. We should never, as clinician, 
uh, science is the base, and whenever you want to understand something, you go back to science. So uh, I'm sure you, it will be successful uh, from uh, my part, from the department as a whole. We are all willing to share with you whatever uh, commitments, as long as it's in the afternoon after our uh, working hours. So I wish you all the best, and uh, I'm sure it will be very successful. Okay, so in a nutshell, the project The question was, Yanni, how is it going to happen, really, in real life? How is it? We have preclinical students, we have clinical students, and then how are they going to, going to mix? So our shape, sign up is next week. You sign up, you get into the roster, and then we do our elections, you, get a, you choose a leader. And then, in this team that you have, you will create activities. The sky is the limit. احنا ما عندنا اي تحفظات على اي نشاط. اوكي ذا سكايز ليميت، التحفظات جايه من احنا ما عندنا. اذا في يعني يو كانت كريت بارتي يعني ما لازم شيء اوكي بس يو كان دو وات ايفر يو وونت. يو كان دو عندنا احنا وي ثينك اباوت كلينيكال اور اكاديميك اكتيفيتيز اند ذير از سوشيال ايفنتس. كلينيكال اكاديميك اكتيفيتيز مثلا سيرجيكال سكيلز لاب، كلينيكال سكيلز لاب اللي هم وعندنا ناس من دسمان كلينيك That's my diabetes clinic. They are offering their whole uh, clinical skills lab. They have many kinds, they have models. Don't worry, it's new. Okay? We have the surgical department. They gave us a lot of stuff. They have a surgical skills lab. And then we have the social events. Social events is simply a career week all the year. Okay? You get to know the doctors exactly how you want to know them. It's a tabib, it's a surgeon. Do you. Do you have time for your parents? Do you walk your dog? Do you, do you go out? You can ask the surgeon in these events. I talk about jobs, or still. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so in the activities, you get more points if you make a, a, an activity for the whole faculty. You get less points if you do it for your, your team, but you still get points. Okay, so the team organizes its own events. And now we still have DNC, we still do events, we give you events. See, I mean, we, we have uh, in, in our side, in this month, they told us, I know we have a clinical skills lab, we're going to give it to them. And they have to run it, they have to operate, they have to manage it, everything is on the team. It's simple. My belief is just into metafali. I get to use the When metafali, fali bater, okay, tree, mess up and roh. That's it's simple. And everyone here has, most of us here have done some work to be rabba or bil qawain or whatever. The answer you will have it. Okay. Do you have like a weekly activity or two? Yeah, our rule is not sure. At least one activity per month. Second rule is you have to do an orientation for the specialty. Yes. And then the sky is the limit.